You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Hello, my name's Trent Copeland. Welcome to the 2013-2014 season launch here at Dalton House in Sydney. Beautiful day here on the harbour. Uh, we're going to be chatting to a few of the guests and the players as they arrive, hopefully in anticipation of what will be a very successful season for the Lend Lease Breakers and the New South Wales Blues. So we're here with Doug Bollinger. Great man, how are you going? Great man, I like it. Hi mate. Yeah, it's good. It's um could be at one of these functions again. I think this is my 14th and um, should be a good night. <laughs> Just to throw that in there. Little veteran, are <laughs> you? Uh, you're actually bowling quite fast at the moment. I've, I've got an extra couple of chest guards and a few arm guards and a few extra bits of padding around the helmet. We look, things... after, we look after our own in the head. I <laughs> know, oh, you don't bump me. It's nice. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> uh, I won't bump you either. <laughs> uh, but things coming out well at the moment. Looking forward to the first game this weekend. Yeah, mate, everything's going well. Um, having a lot of fun. It's good to be around you guys. And um, there's a long pre-season, as we all know. And, um, but no, it's good to get into it, good to start playing some games and good to start playing some cricket. So I'm here with young Nick Maddinson, uh, one of the stars of our top order. Uh, Nick, how's your off-season been? Yeah, it's been good. I'm um, pretty keen to get back into it. I was lucky enough to be away playing cricket in the off-season, so I haven't had too much of a break. So. Played with the Aussie A's, did you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, a bit of a trip to Brisbane the last few weeks, so it's um, good to start playing cricket again and hopefully we can start well um, over the weekend. Yeah, speaking of Brisbane, the, um, the boys went away for a, a pre-season trip, um, had our week at the COE and there was a famous game there. We, we scored 460 in a one day against WA up there. Uh, Matto, you got yourself about 80 runs up there off about 20 balls. How did you find that? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good wicket and um, AB field's quite small so it was good to open the batting to, to sort of get us off to a good start along with Moses. Um, I think the guys just coming in, just yeah, seeing that the wicket was playing well and just all played our natural games which is probably a positive coming into the year. Yeah, it was certainly good fun as a bowler later in that day but uh, yeah, and, and in between all the training the boys have been trying to relax and get away from it all, playing a bit of table tennis and, and what have you been getting up to? Uh, been trying to get back uh, some some wins on Harry Conway playing table tennis. Um, I thought I'd take him to the beach today actually and show the North Shore boy around the east and um, he was actually a little bit scared to get in the water. A few five-year-olds said there were piranhas around so he was um, standing on the edge and, and wouldn't dive in. Um, I'm still not sure if he actually made it into the water or got his kid off yet so it was um, those North Shore guys mate. You've got to uh, sort him out don't you? He needs sorting out that kid but thanks for joining us mate. All the best for the season ahead. So it's not very often we get anyone taller than me, but the great man Harry Conway is with us. Uh, one of the young fellas of the squad, but uh, very much a character, and he's had a recent trim of the hair, looking smashing tonight, mate. How's things? Um, very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the night. Um, just got my hair done last week by Tony and Guy, a uh, pretty big name actually in the in the industry. Um, Only well, the best for Conway. Yeah, absolutely. On the North Shore, we plenty of training guys around so I worked into one of them and um, yeah under my mentors guide of, um, of Moses I uh, got told got told what style I wanted so yeah got it done nice one nice one Moses always a good one to follow um, and the pre-season we've done lots of running lots of hard work in the gym uh, you know you've been one of the advocates of the prowler <laughs> working hard down there uh, the rowing champion as they say um, and we got into some pre-season games on the weekend uh, your first delivery in the City Country match dismissed young Stephen Smith first ball with a loud He's done it! <laughs> he's done it, the famous Harry Conway, he's done it. One of your great moments of your career so far? Yeah, probably my, my highlight so far. Um, I think I need a trademark, he's done it. Um, I yeah. would, I would. Get yeah, in there. I, yeah, I need to. Um, I've, I've done it that many times. Um, <laughs> No, yeah, first ball, I, I, mate, I absolutely couldn't believe it. Um, Steve Smith, one of the best players in the squad and in Australia. Um, yeah, my first Ashes scalp and probably my last as well. Oh, come on, mate. Don't sell yourself <laughs> short. So I'm here with uh, Garinda Sandu and Nathan Lyon. Uh, Nathan, welcome to the New South Wales Blues squad. Uh, firstly, how was your Ashes experience? Uh, all of us sort of watching and supporting from home. How was it being over there? Uh, thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty tough. It was a good experience uh, being on an Ashes campaign, but uh, it was obviously pretty disappointing, but uh, looking forward to the home series. Uh. Yeah, always get one back over them. Uh, and first year back at your home state in New South Wales. Are you excited to be here? 
Um, yeah, yeah. when I got the phone call from uh, TB to come up here and I knew Big G was bowling fast and swinging around, it was just... Uh, really, hard to knock back, isn't it? Yeah, it really sold me on uh, signing the, on the dotted line, so yeah, pretty happy to be here. Good stuff, mate. And G, uh, off-season trip with the Australia A side, how did you enjoy that? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Uh, my first away trip, especially overseas, so um, yeah, I was just ready to go with the boys and see how it all happens up in the big stage. Yeah, and how did you think your performances went? Um, it went okay, could have done better. Um, yeah, like you said, there's always room for improvement, so I think if I get another tour or another game or two, yeah. um, hopefully I can get a few more wickets. And the reigning Steve Waugh medalist, uh, what do you see for the season ahead? How can you improve on already winning the biggest title there is in New South Wales cricket? Um, I guess do what I did for 15 or 20 games instead of just you know playing the four or five games. So I think. Um, yeah, just cementing my spot in the team and hopefully the boys can go well. They can get a few early points in Sunday for a Ryobi game and maybe even get the trophy later on. So I'm here with one of our New South Wales Blues new rookies, Jay Lenton. How's things, mate? Very good, mate. How are you, Trent? Yeah, I'm going well. Thanks for asking. Uh, your first year in the squad, um, it, it's often a confronting experience being with all the big wigs, not myself, uh, but the Aussie guys and, and floating around training, how have you found it so far? No, it's very good. I actually came into a, a very small kind of squad when I first started, so there's only about eight or ten blokes, but everyone is very welcoming, but everyone seems to be back now, and uh, all the big wigs, including yourself, Trent, they're all <laughs> around, so it's it's very good. Learning a lot, mate, learning yeah, a lot. Yeah, good stuff. And, and when you say learning a lot, anything glaringly obvious to you that you've improved so far? Uh, I'd like to say that Brad's helped me a lot with my keeping already. Yeah, I can definitely say that um, my quads are now burning, which they won't before. So <laughs> I'll definitely good learn stuff. a new way of keeping, mate, that's for sure. Uh, very good. Uh, and you told me today that you were going to get a trim to the salad. Now, what have you gone with? I've gone a very short trim, to be perfectly honest with you. The Central Coast haircut with the big mop going around everywhere. You said you were going to get rid of it different style. I'm scared mate. Have you seen the size of my ears? <laughs> I need some I need some hair you over You need these, to embrace so. it mate. You need to embrace it. Not before the season launch. I thought I'd give it a couple <laughs> of weeks. Yeah fair enough. All right mate. All the best for the season ahead. Thanks Trent. Cheers. So we're here at the season launch with two of the Len Lease Breakers stars and recently back from the Ashes series. How are you guys? Good thanks Trent. That's the way. And the Ashes series how was it, the experience, the English conditions? Did it differ a lot from Australia? Um, well, I think judging from results, we probably didn't handle them the best we could have. Um, a little bit disappointing, but at the end of the day, we got outplayed by a very uh, well-led England team. And the season ahead, we're at the season launch, so what are, what are the aspirations for the girls, and I guess what can you look forward to individually? Um, I think it's going to be a really tough and exciting year for the women's cricket. I think um, Western Australia and, and Queensland have um, brought a few players from overseas and um, they'll definitely be ones to watch. But um, this year hopefully we can defend the double, um, both the WNCL and the T20. So looking forward to defending that and we've brought in a few younger players into the squad this year. So um, yeah, it's exciting times for the New South Wales Breakers. And Midge, your aspirations for the season? Uh, look, for me it's just... I guess helping the team get the performances we want. Um, like Aaron said, defending the double, it's never been done before. Um, a, winning it and B, defending it. So um, if we can do that, and for me personally, just making as many runs as I can, taking as many catches as I can, and we'll be well on the way to doing that. So fingers crossed. Very good. And the double, I've heard there's some sort of double bet on. Can you girls explain about that? Um, yeah, it was brought up last year from Rachel Haynes that um, if we didn't win the double, you'd have to eat the double downer from KFC, which is looks instead a, of the bun, it's <laughs> two hash browns yeah. and then the bacon and the chicken or whatever. So and we had our fourth crack at the double title, and we finally won it. I think it was due to that influence. So we'll see how we go this year. Well, you better play well this year then. <laughs> All the best, girls.